Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiz Alam and in this session we will be knowing about the transaction matching feature uh, for importing uh, for importing the bank data that can be achieved via uh, creating the reconciliation rules. So as mentioned earlier that reconciliation involves matching uh, two sets of records uh, that is the bank statement and the NetSuite account transaction. So uh, that is uh, that matching is done to see if there are any differences or discrepancies and its example uh, if we talk about the reconciliation. So its examples are we uh, compare a bank statement to the internal record of all the cash receipts and disbursement. Then uh, we compare a re receivable statement uh, that is a customer's uh, record uh, of all the invoices that are outstanding. Along with that, we also compare a supplier statement that is a vendor statement to a, co a company's record of all the outstanding bills. So these are all the various uh, records uh, uh, onto the bank side and onto the uh, NetSuite account transactions that are required to be matched. So uh, as I as our today's concern is uh, the transaction matching. So that intelligent transaction matching feature uses matching rules to automatically create uh, matches uh, through the system or user matching rules. We are having uh, two uh, kinds of rules here that is default or the system rules and user or the custom rules that uh, we'll be creating here. So this is done for the purpose of uh, uh, matching the transaction. Uh, so for any remaining uh, unmatched transaction, we have to manually uh, do the matching for the purpose of reconciliation. But if the rules are created and the conditions or the criteria are met, so the matching will be done automatically. If we talk about the matching rules, so it determines how matches are made. And uh, for this purpose, rules can be configured for the tolerance uh, ranges uh, on the date and the amount side that is already there onto the uh, default or the system rules. So there are various uh, kinds of uh, matches that is there like one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many. So if we talk about the one to one uh, matches, so for most of the matches, the transaction ID in the imported bank line matches the check number in the NetSuite account transaction that can include uh, the matching of check numbers with the check number, deposit number with the deposit number and entry numbers are also uh, required to be matched uh, or that is given onto the journal. The other category uh, for matching uh, transaction is many to one. So there can be scenarios where uh, the reference is not found between the two sets of transactions. So in this case uh, here we can take an example here for a many to one uh, matching the financial clerk combines several bank transfers on the bank statement into a single journal that is given into the NetSuite account. Then comes the one to many uh, match. So here we can uh, only match one transaction in the important statement with multiple transactions that are given in the NetSuite uh, general ledger account. The last uh, category of uh, matching rule is many to many. So it involves uh, ma matching multiple transactions in the important uh, in the important statement with the multiple transactions that are given in the NetSuite account. So for the purpose of uh, matching, uh, what happens uh, whenever we pull a bank or the credit card statement file into the NetSuite application, so the transaction matching feature automatically matches the imported bank statement transaction with all the GL transactions that are given in the NetSuite application. Uh, along with that, NetSuite also identifies uh, all the matches by reading out all the default rules that are given. Along with that, the, along with the default rules, we uh, can create our own uh, custom rules that if we want to uh, in, uh, based on the requirement of the business. So uh, for that purpose, we'll go into transaction over to bank. Here we are having the option of reconciliation rules. So we here you can see that uh, we are provided certain st uh, system or default rules uh, that are for amounts, uh, sum of amounts and all. These are all the system or the default uh, rules that is followed for the for the purpose of matching. We can also create our own uh, rules that is the custom rules by clicking here on new rule. So here uh, in order to create our own rule we have to provide a name for it. So I have taken this name uh, because uh, I have uh, for providing conditions I want to match my memo and date uh, that would be for uh, four previous days. So I have provided a rule name here going down. 
Here we have uh, two uh, sub tabs available that is accounts and conditions. So under the accounts, we are having all the accounts available that we want to create this rule for or we want to run uh, this rule for. So if I select this, so all the accounts would be selected if you want to select uh, if you want to uh, uh, create this rule for certain specified accounts. So you can manually check box uh, each account or if you want to select all so you can select all. So I'm not selecting all I am taking these. Uh, Five only. Here we are provided the type of it that can consist of bank and credit uh, credit card statement here. Currency is also given. Then under the account type, if I click on sorry, if I click on this show included only, so it will show us uh, all the accounts uh, that I have selected. And if I not uh, if I have not uh, if I uh, unchecked it, so you can see that uh, it will give us all the bank account detail. Now uh, under the account type, we are having all a bank and credit card. So if I click on bank, so it will give us only the bank statement details only. You can see that only the bank uh, uh, types are given here. If I select credit card here, so uh, we are having uh, three credit card statements that uh, we want to match. So I'm taking all here. So that is about the account that we want to select uh, our rule for. Now moving on to the condition sub tab here. So under the conditions as uh, we are we have to compare it. So firstly we have to define the transaction type under the transaction type. We have to select all imported uh, type here that is for the bank side. Now the primary field has opened to us uh, for providing condition or criteria. We have to select the fields like what uh, field do we want. So I want my transaction ID to be matched with the memo that is given there. Uh, after providing the primary field we have to select the operators. So for operators, we are having equals or equals ignore pre pre prefix. So I'm taking this equals here. So this is the transaction type that uh, means here we are having all the NetSuite tra uh, account transaction that we want to compare. Next comes the compare field. So I want to compare my transaction ID with all the memos here. So I have selected it. So if we talk about the operators, so what happens here? I have selected equals. Suppose in the transaction ID, if the ID is a number is uh, 256 and under the memo it is given uh, 0256. So it will not match it. But if I select this equals ignore prefixes. So if uh, there are certain prefixes that consist of any uh, numbers or uh, uh, any identifiers in it. So it will ignore that and match the required transaction. If I select this operator that is equal ignore uh, preferences. So I have provided the first condition. Now I will be taking the next condition here by clicking on that plus icon. Again I will be taking here all imported. The next thing that I want to provide uh, under my condition is date. So I want to match the condition. That is uh, for within uh, previous four days as mentioned in the name of the rule. So under the value I have to provide four here because I am taking a uh, four. Now you can see that the transaction type is already populated that is the NetSuite account transaction and uh, as we are comparing date with the date that is within the four previous days. So uh, the date is already populated here. Now I have provided these two conditions for my rule. We can provide as many conditions as we want by clicking on this plus icon. I am taking these two only. Now I will be clicking save here. So you can see that under the user rules, I have created my custom rule that is match on memo and date within four previous days. I have provided two conditions. The rule type is matching here. If I want to at any point of time, if I want to delete it, so I can delete it. So what happens here for the purpose of matching a uh, NetSuite? Uh, uh, follows uh, the system rules first in the order given here like for the amount for sum of amount it will take all these rules then it will come to the user rules after uh, taking all these uh, this, all these default rules it will come to the user rules that have been created and the matching is done. So if uh, the conditions or the criteria are made uh, the transactions would be matched and if uh, it is if it will not happen if the conditions are not met. So the transaction falls under the unmatched uh, tab uh, wherein we have to manually ma match all the transactions. So th that is the use of reconciliation rule for the purpose of matching if uh, the conditions uh, 
followed by these rules if the conditions are satisfied or met the matching is done and if not so we have to uh, do the manual uh, matching of it so that's all uh, about the topic how can we create the custom uh, rules uh, based on the requirement of the business and followed by those uh, those rules our matching can be done so that's all about it in case of any doubts and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you